Hey, here's something you might want to know if you're installing a Tesla Powerwall 3 at your home, or more particularly if you're installing it in your garage. Now listen to this, listen to the noise of this fan. When they, get, when they heat up, or when they're discharging at 10 kilowatts, you're going to get a fan, this fan will come on, and it's quite, I don't know if you can hear that through my headphones there, but it's quite no noisy. So, um, Fronius, they're older inverters, they used to get complaints about the fan noise when they're in a garage or next to the barbecue or something like that, and they were quite noisy. They're, basically, they've got, they really aren't as noisy as this. I would say the Tesla Powerwall is noisier. And uh, so don't be afraid of that, but just make sure you don't install this next to your home office or, or at your barbecue area or something like that. Be aware that it does make a noise and don't freak out when you hear the noise. Um, so down here, this um, battery gets basically, I don't want to hold it any longer than that, not quite too hot to touch, but it gets really hot as well. So again, don't freak out. Now you might be wondering why we're discharging this at 10 kilowatts. Well, you might want to do it to send power back to the grid for a BPP, because you probably don't have a 10 kilowatt load on. But what we're doing at the moment is round trip efficiency. So we're seeing this is a 13 and a half kilowatt hour battery. If we put 13 and a half kilowatt hours into it, how much can we get out of it? That's the round trip efficiency. And Tesla says it's around about 90%. It's a top tip, it's uh, quite a bit less than that. And it depends on how fast we charge it and how fast we discharge it. So this test at the moment is doing a fast charge and fast discharge. Now, by the way, we're doing it with a whole bunch more inverters. I've got a list here. We're doing it with the uh, iStore inverter, uh, the SAJ, which we've got testing here. Uh, we're going to do it with the Franklin battery and the BYD battery I've got over my warehouse. Obviously, the Fronius, inver uh, Fronius inverter and the SIG Energy uh, battery. That will be an interesting one. And uh, a big name on the market at the moment is the new Fox battery. So all of these batteries we're installing at you know, different family, friends, homes, um, or friends of business or whatever, and we're checking out how efficient they actually are. You know, you don't want to be putting uh, 20, 20 kilowatt hours into a battery and only drawing out 10 kilowatt hours, and what's really going to be happening in the real world. So stay tuned for that.